All right, well, welcome back to our Lent devotional series as we're taking anywhere from three to five minutes every Monday to look at a truth in the scriptures where there's a lot of folks in our church who are fasting, some from food, some from other things, in order to focus on Christ in this season. They're taking these Mondays to do that. And uh, fasting is a time where, as we've said throughout this time, where Christians have done that both individually and corporately in order to fast on food in order to feast on Christ. And so our hope is that this season we'd really turn our hearts and our attention uh, to Jesus so that on Easter we could celebrate really well. And that's what these devotions, these devotionals are all about. They're all about the subject of joy. And want to look at something that Jesus teaches in in the book of John in chapter 15 when he's with the disciples before he's about to go to the cross and he teaches them this. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does not does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I've spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I'm the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples." As the fathers loved me, so I've loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as my father, just as I've kept my father's commands, remain in his love. I've told you these things so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. It's an amazing little section of scripture where Jesus is teaching the disciples And he lets them know a couple things. One, the hope of the disciples simply to walk in the love of God for us and the love God has for us to walk in that, to enjoy that. Jesus is saying that so that we would have joy. He says, apart from that, you can do nothing, right? I always love that because sometimes we think we're going to do all these great things for God, but we forget that we're going to do nothing from God unless we learn to abide in him. And I, I often think of it as we're going through our days and we're trying to open door after door after door and they're all locked and abiding in the love of God is like the key and it opens the doors. And I'm sure you've had days where you felt like, man, everything's just a locked door. And when it comes to bearing fruit for God, abiding in him is the key for ultimate fruit and ultimate joy. And then this one's really important and maybe um, God's just going to challenge you on something today. Uh, He says, you know, one of the things God does for us in order for that to happen, in order to abide in him and bear fruit for him, in order to enjoy him, is he prunes us. That he takes things in our life that are preventing our fruitfulness and he actually cuts them back. If You know, we don't realize this because we live in New Jersey, but, you know, most fruit trees, if they get too big, they stop producing fruit. They're just overgrown and overrun. And there's so much tree that's taking up all the energy of the tree that it can't produce any fruit. And so what they have to do is they have to prune it way back in order for the energy to go to fruit uh, production. And there's times, and maybe even now as we're talking about it, you're already aware that, you know what, I think God's trying to prune this thing out of my life. I think God realizes that this, whatever it is, uh, social media, television, certain relationships, certain habits, these things are a distraction that God and his love will prune out of my life so that I can have true joy. And so hard question for today, week two of our devotions is this Lent season, is there something where you go, God, this should be pruned out of my life. It's actually robbing me from real joy. And what's it mean to obey him and, and to walk with him and, and to allow him to prune that from you? Hope you guys um, have a, a good time kind of searching your heart on that. Let me pray for you real quick and uh, we'll, we'll wrap up. God, thank you that um, you love us. Thank you that your hope is that we'd be fruitful And God, as part of that, there's times where you prune things from our life. And God, even now in this moment with you, we pray you just show us what needs to come out 
of our life so that we could have more fruit in our life. And uh, Jesus says, ultimately, that thing that we're scared to come out of our life is preventing the true joy you have for us. And so thank you that you want joy for us. Help us to trust you and to let those things go. We ask all that in Jesus' name. Amen.